Hello, today we are going to see how to transfer a S500 configuration to S4. So in first, we are going to export all the data point of S500. You can open your soft tools, go in your configuration, and click on file, export the configuration for S4 data names. It will create a text file, rename and save it on your desktop. OK, open S4W tools and click on the configuration. The configuration windows appear and you can divide your screen in twice with both software. Extend the S4 side and here don't forget to put your expansion cards if you have some. Click on data point and import data points. Now you choose a previous text file and open it. A new window appears with all new data points. Split your screen with it and the S500 data points and sort them by ascending order. Now we need to match each data point with the good type. Sector EDF is terminal stripe DI. I choose the same. You can also refer to this list for match all of them. You can click and drag for match more data points with the same type. When you have finished, you can confirm the import. OK, now put your configuration window in full screen. And the goal is to correct the errors present in the bottom of the page. Double click on the first one and put the correct missing data point. And do the same for all of them. When all errors are corrected, you can reduce S4W tools and go to the S500 process control workshop. Now enter in your program and copy it in full. You can do Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C for copy. Now you can close it and quit the S500 process control workshop and open the S4 workshop. Right click on project and insert a new program, name it and choose the good programming language and click on OK. You can open it and inside him you can paste the program and don't forget to save. Ok now you can close it and go back to the S500 workshop and we are going to copy the local define. So you can click on tools local defines. And you can click and drag for copy all of them. Now you can close the workshop and go back on the S4 workshop. And then we are going to paste the local define into the program. Right click and show hide local define. Save it and go back again in the S500 workshop. OK, now we are going to import the variable of the program. So you can click on variable, click on the variable of the program. Now we can make a screenshot of the window with a combination Alt plus Print Screen. You can open a Word file and paste it in the Word. Split your screen with it and the is for workshop. Now we can create all the variables one by one. Create a variable, right click and add a variable. Rename it the same as the others, but be careful. Look at permute. It's a declaration of the function SB permute. With the tutorial, we have created a table of correspondence which gathers all the functions which have changed name or syntax between the two workshops. This table is available on our technical space. If we check in, we can see that SB permute has been changed to PMUT4 cycle, so for the type we must choose PMUT4 cycle. The same for cycle 1, here is a declaration of the function SBC's time. I look in the table and it becomes complicated. Now you can close the word file and now you can put your 
case for a workshop in full screen. The first step is to correct the local DeFi. First, we can add hashtag define, so you can copy the first one and paste in front of all of them. Once this is done, we need to delete the, all the equals, so you can do Ctrl plus F, put the equal, here nothing, replace all, and we can see all the equals are disappeared. And now we need to transform our data in four digits, so we need to add some zeros, like this, we need to have four numbers behind the data. Now our local define are correct, we can close it. For the second step, we need to check the syntax of the program for see how many errors we have. The first error is UGNO identifier because MSG has been changed into any two string. So I replace it by his new name. And the same for real is transformed into any to real. Now we can verify the syntax for if we have some new errors. The next error is the argument has a wrong type. Why? Because the syntax of the function has changed. We have to put a temporal syntax instead of the one. I know this because I looked in my correspondence table. So the syntax is t, hashtag, the number, and his unit. And replace all the one by this syntax. We can now check again the syntax. We have one error remaining. It's again a GNU identifier because the output syntax is not a good one. We need to replace this part by the letter Q. We can check again the syntax and we can see we have no errors remaining. So now we can save the program, quite the workshop, and we can save the configuration of ACE4W tools. Thanks for watching and see you later for the next tutorial.